during the 10 days of Thy Kingdom Come, the Global Prayer Initiative. We're exploring the Lord's Prayer in wee reflections, looking at these familiar words and their many layers of meaning. Today we ask, and deliver us from evil. People have many different ideas about evil. Some believe it originates in an opponent of God, some fallen creature, sometimes called the devil or Satan, the deceiver. Some believe evil is an absence or a void, the absence of good. Evil is what God does not will in the world. Some believe evil comes about because human beings were created free by God, therefore have the freedom to choose wrong over right. Some believe that evil can be used by God to create a greater good. Some believe evil contains the seeds of its own destruction. Some believe that some people are evil, demonstrated by things they do to others, but is sometimes bandied about as a label, fairly irresponsibly. People have many different ideas about evil, and it's a very difficult and uncomfortable subject to explore, as it can suck us into dark places and very painful stories. But perhaps we all have some sense of evil. Stories we have heard, for example, of the Holocaust and other genocides. Some people have dark and difficult experiences they've lived through. Evil relates to our deepest fears and the worst horrors of life. And it is from these deepest fears and worst horrors that we ask God to deliver us. Therefore it is into hope and goodness and fullness of life that we ask God to deliver us. And it is a shared prayer. So we ask this for all people and all of creation, which includes being willing to acknowledge wider fears and horrors in our world, however difficult and painful. And that's not easy, so we really need to pray. Help us, God. Come, Holy Spirit, and deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen.